So the word slowpreneur came from a chance meeting with a lawyer I was um, sitting next to on a plane uh, taking a flight. And we had talked for a while about our businesses and business philosophies. And then we went back to reading our own independent books. And after a little while she tapped me and she said, hey, this sounds just like you. And she points to a word and says, it says slowpreneur. I smiled and thought that was interesting. And I looked down and actually the word was solopreneur. And I corrected her but said, that's also, that's a great idea, slowpreneur, that's a great fit. And I went looking to see if anybody had ever used the term and found three search results. And one of them was somebody mentioning it on Twitter and the other two were typos. So I coined the phrase to represent the idea of running a business and growing your business while still living your life, uh, not being greedy, trying to uh, not incur debt, um, respecting the customer at the same time as respecting your own life and the things you do, making sure you expand your world at the same time because there's value in that. Nobody wants to kill themselves for three years or five years starting their business or startup uh, just with the hope that they might get some free time later. You can grow your business and mine have doubled um, for the last couple of years, doubled their gross revenue streams each year. And I think that's fantastic. I'm not looking to be a billionaire. I'm looking to live a comfortable life and not lose 10 years of my life growing my business. So if you're interested in this, learning more about being a slowpreneur, come out to South by Southwest 2014, vote for this panel. My name is Mario Lurig, and I look forward to seeing you there.